Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to talk to you about how to store your baits. Specifically, using a uh, vacuum technology to vacuum bag your baits and freeze them so that they remain really fresh and look really good and are really good baits when you're ready to catch some fish. Alright well, guys, this machine sucks. That's what we like about it. So we were out fishing, we jigged up some cigar minnows, we trolled them for kingfish, great baits, and at the end of the day we had some left over. So what we do is after fishing, we take those baits and we put them in like a cooler with ice and some salt water from the sea, and then we mix in some kosher salt and baking soda, and it makes a nice brining solution. You know it's a good solution when it gets so cold your baits freeze in there. We're using a vacuum sealer called an Avid Armor. And we found this one to work the best. It's not cheap, but it is really good. See, the problem with most vacuum sealers is the water, you know, the moisture from these baits, you know, from handling them, them being in the, in the brine solution, keeps it from sealing really well. Oftentimes, you have this, what looks to be nice and vacuum sealed, and then when you go to take them out of the freezer, uh, it's no longer a vacuum, air got in somehow. There are some tricks we'll show you to, to get around that, but, for these smaller baits like cigar minnows, the Avid Armor vacuum machine is small enough where we can put these in it and it works great. What we'll do is we'll typically wipe the bag down, make sure there's no moisture on the inside of it. Sometimes we may even dry the baits off a little bit, but the main thing is once they're good and brined, we just put them in that bag and we put it in there, turn it on, let it do its thing. As you can see, it makes a great suction and it seals really well. For Spanish mackerel, we caught some of them. I wanted to brine them, but they don't fit in the Avid armor, fortunately. That's what I'd like to brine them in. So with those, we use a different um, machine. I'll put a link to what we use. It's not as good, but to make it you know, work the best, you're gonna wanna make sure the baits aren't too wet and that the inside of the bag is dry. So when it seals it, it you know, it's able to melt it and get a good seal. And we'll even double seal it just to make sure it holds as best as it can. Another tip when you're vacuum sealing baits, is sometimes I'll put some paper towels over them. Like for example, Spanish mackerel, they have sharp teeth. You know, if any of these teeth are exposed, if their mouth's open, that's not ideal. It can cut the bag. You know, ballyhoo, they have those long beaks. Uh, different, different kinds of fish may have sharp points. Typically I'll try to put maybe a dozen, depending on the size. I generally want to put, you know, packs that I can use up completely. You know, Spanish mackerel, I may do two or three. Ballyhoo, you know, maybe a dozen, depending on their size. Things like that, just so you're not having to open up a bag and trying to reseal it or put it back in your freezer unsealed, stuff like that. I hope these tips help you out. If you guys are looking for a good vacuum machine, I would suggest the Avid Armor. If you guys have any other questions or tips, then by all means, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.